Next, we'll be soldering Executor CR3 Lite onto our motherboard. Just to quickly show you the contents of the CR3 Lite, uh, you get a cable set for fat and slim wires, the adhesive pad, and your actual CR3 Lite chip. Okay, let's just go through uh, the few things that have been introduced in the new version of Cool Runner. Okay, the changes are there are four. Um, pads that have been introduced LK1, LK2, LK3, LK4 and for every console either you have to uh, bridge them or leave them as opened and there are S2 and S4 these two switch settings uh, to tweak the glitch timings on your console so LK1 here, LK2 LK3 and LK4 as recommended by Team Executor LK1 short so we have to bridge it LK2 short we have to bridge it LK3 open so we'll leave it as it is LK4 all open and we'll leave LK4 all open as well there's another set, uh, setting LK4 we can short pins 1 and 2 so this one and this one we'll sh we can short it uh, but these are just uh, uh, few of the tweaks that we'll be doing later on. First we'll just go with the default settings and then later on uh, we'll keep on uh, playing around with few of the S2 and S4 dip switch settings just to uh, get a decent glitch timing and glitch uh, for our console. Okay, let's install uh, cooler on our board. Alright, we'll be soldering cool runner CRT light onto our motherboard. Uh, simply just place your adhesive pad and place it here. Make sure currently the switches are on to program and this switch is on to the slim side. Next, let's pre tin our cool runner connections. So grab your flux. and we'll pretend the cool runner connections so 3.3 .3 crowned b c d e and f nothing on a So make sure all this is on off. Next, let's place all our wires onto the cool runner. Three point three volt. Next comes the ground. Then the orange wire. Then comes yellow. Then comes long blue CPU reset. Then comes green. And finally the brown one. Okay. So let's solder these wires onto the board. So the first connection sets we'll be using J2C3. So this one is red, brown, and the green wire here so let's solder these three first and the ground one goes onto the AV port so let's solder all these as always flux it first and 
Let's order the red one first. Then comes the brown, so let's order the brown one. And the green one here. Next, let's solder the ground wire. So it goes on to the AV port, anywhere on the AV port. So let's just add a bit of solder onto this pin here and we'll just solder the black ground wire here. Next, um, let's just move the yellow and the long CPU reset from over here because they're going to be soldered onto the back of the motherboard. So simply route it through here and we'll just deal this with these two wires in just a moment. So yellow and the blue. Let's solder the orange one, it goes on to here, R3B15, it's a bit of a tricky connection. So there we have R3B15 here, so we'll flux it, add a bit of solder here, and then solder our orange wire on here. And simply just touch it that should be more than enough okay that's done next the yellow and the blue wire so simply flip over your board we'll deal with the yellow first so that's where the yellow one goes or at this point near X clan it goes in here this one flux it, pre -tin it pre -tin your yellow wire Okay, that's done. Next is the long blue CPU reset. There are a few ways to do this one. It's recommended to loop it, coil it around. So you can either coil it around the X clamp or like this. Skip on right here and it goes over here. The point is uh, FT4R2. That's where it goes. So I'll just zoom in in a moment. Or the other way is simply loop it around here. Okay, let's solder this onto 
FT4R2. So that's the point here, flux head pre -tinted. Retain your wire. That should be more than enough. That's our cooler CR3 lights soldered onto the motherboard. Next, uh, CRC light has a few jumper settings and few switch settings. Uh, let's go through all this. So, S2 switch setting, initially, we'll just have everything off. Same with the S4 switch, we'll have everything off. Uh, jumper settings are LK1, short, so we'll be bridging LK1, which is here. So we'll bridge this connection. And will bridge LK2 LK3 is open LK, LK3 here that's open and LK4 initially we'll just try everything open let's just short LK1 and LK2 It's done. It's done. 